In this video, we're gonna talk about exactly the reason why you're not making more money in solar. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to another video on the channel. My name is Ivan and I own a solar growth marketing agency. We focus on solar lead generation and solar sales. And if that's what you care about, then you've come to the right place. If you haven't subscribed to the channel or to the podcast, then please do. And if you like the content of obviously everything that, that I do, then make sure you share it with a friend. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't keep the goodies, all right? Share it. Share is, uh, sharing is scary, all right? Most people like to say. So. Um, in this video, what I want to talk about to you, uh, to you guys is the number one reason why people don't actually make more money in solar. And what I mean by that is if you, if you're capped out of, let's say you, you do five deals a month, right? Five or six deals a month. And let's do a quick math. If you're making about, let's say at least five grand on each, you're doing about 25. 25 to 30,000 a month, okay? So you you know, a lot of people will be pretty content. That's life-changing money to a lot of people, right? And so they're pretty content and I've had a lot of those people. I want them to grow, but they don't want to grow, right? And if that's you, then by all means, I mean, it's, it's all power to you, but, but to all of you that are watching this video and you want to grow really fast and you want to do it the right way, and you want to build an actually uh, a company that you're proud of, then that doesn't apply to you, obviously. But a lot of people are content with five, six, seven deals, 10 deals a month, right? And even 20 deals a month, right? And they have two or three guys on their team and they're happy doing that, right? But the, the number one reason why people don't grow is they don't want to. They simply don't want to. Like I, like I already said, they're content with making the, the amount of money that they're, they're making. And for them it was all about the money and that's why they stopped at a certain point. But if that's you, but, but if that's not you, then I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, all right? There's a few things you need, to, you need to keep in mind in order to be able to grow exponentially and do it in the quickest way possible. So sort of, sort of like I having a shortcut. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have an acquisition process, okay? It is vital, right, vital. You need to have some kind of campaign going out there, right, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Snapchat, doesn't matter, right? You have some type of campaign, you need to be spending at least a hundred dollars a day, every single day on ads. At least a hundred dollars a day. I always say to my people, if you're not spending at least a hundred bucks, then it doesn't, it, it's not worth you doing it, okay? You need to build yourself up to that point where you are comfortable with spending at least a hundred dollars a day, right, on ads. Now, the second thing you need to do, because I want to keep these short and to the point, but these are powerful. If you follow these steps, you are going to win in solar. Um, the, the second thing you need to do that, I, that, that I've seen a lot of people that are just sort of like, they understand it, but they don't get it, right? Because in my opinion, if you understand something, you do it, right? The second thing you want to make sure is that you're very flexible in your approach as far as where you sell, okay? You need to be flexible. Flexibility is key. Flexible, all right? You need to make sure, and in order to be flexible, you need to make sure you have relationship with installers that can install in multiple states. I've said this in many videos in the past, but I'm gonna keep drumming it to you guys until some of you get it, all right? You need to become, you need to have a partnership with someone that can ensure that you can install in multiple states. Preferably not a, not a mom and pop shop, okay? Uh, not against it, but again, I mean, in, in, in volatile conditions like uh, we're living through right now, uh, you know, a company can go under really, really quickly. And you don't want to find yourself in a position with 10 to 12 deals in the pipeline and just to realize you don't get paid on them, right? So you need to be flexible. You need to make sure that you have relationships with people or a relationship with a company, an EPC, right? Somebody that can install for you in multiple states. 
because you might, you know, the state in which you're in currently might, might not be the best state for you to actually sell in. All right, and that's very important. So the third thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a CRM. Okay, you have a client relationship management system, and that is to keep track of all of your prospects that go in, and uh, you know, and 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 you want to make sure that you know. Everything is kept within that CRM. Doesn't matter how many sales reps you have, you need to make sure that you have a CRM. A lot of a lot of my big clients have worked off of Google Sheets, but they also have a CRM on the side. CRMs are vital, guys. If you don't have a CRM, you can go to Go High Level uh, and subscribe to it. It's like 100 bucks a month or something like that. So you can subscribe to it. Um, it doesn't have to be Go High Level. You can go to any other um, system out there and and just sort of like get used to it, just watch a couple of uh, YouTube videos and uh, you know, you pretty much learn how to use it, right? But you need a CRM to make sure that you keep track of everything that goes into your pipeline and you actually have a pipeline, okay? So, because a lot of people, like they call someone a few times and if they don't respond, they sound not interested, they just put it to the side. Like, listen, dude, like in my organization, what we do is, if someone's not interested, they, it's not like we don't call them ever again, because people's situation changes, right? And so, what I do is, I say to my team, put it to the side, okay, for, for about three months, and then call them again, because he might be in another headspace, okay? So you need to keep, keep that in mind also. So again, having a CRM, but this is very important. Acquisition process, being flexible, right? Making sure that you have a relationship with an EPC that can install in multiple states, very vital. And then you have a CRM, okay? And the fourth thing you need to, you need to make sure is that you can actually sell, uh, by being flexible, that's what it is, but you can sell virtually, virtual selling. All right. And it's never, honestly, it's never been a better time to explore the opportunity that Solar has brought to all of us with, with the pandemic, you know, with, uh, with unfortunate circumstances. We can actually capitalize on that and help homeowners, you know, go on the winning side, which is to obviously switch to Solar. And with all the inflation, everything that's going on, you know, the drill. So um, again, you need to make sure that you have an acquisition price. If you don't have that, again, the acquisition process, I forgot to mention, which I do apologize. The acquisition process doesn't have to be ads, okay? Could be in any other way, but it has to be systematic. This, I'll put a systematic. You need to have a system, okay? For acquiring new prospects. It could be an outbound, uh, outbound cold messaging people on LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever it might be, right? It could be a cold calling way. It could be, even if you, even if you do door knocking, it doesn't matter, right? But um, I'm not against it. I'm not fond of it, but uh, I'm not against it for sure. And so you have a system for generating new prospects, okay? Again, doesn't have to be ad related. I do believe that, uh, you know, ads will bring you the best ROI um, long term, but you know, anything works. You need to be flexible, uh, you need to have a CRM, so keep track of everything that's going on, all right? And you need to also record your calls. Make sure that CRM has the capability of actually being able to record your calls on every single call so you, you can actually improve, all right? Because if you cannot improve, you're not gonna make uh, you know, you're not gonna make progress in what you're doing, which is, I mean, it's ludicrous. You're leaving money on the table at that point. And the fourth thing is virtual selling. I mean, again, if you're not doing that, start doing that, all right? Even if, you, even if someone is in the same neighborhood, you know, there's no, there's no point going to the house when you know that you can seal the deal from the telephone or, um, you know, or from Zoom, for example, all right? So again, I hope this was of value to you guys. 
Again, I, I, I wanted to make this video as short as possible, but if anything, I wanted to remind you of, of you know, the reason why you know, most people are not making money within solar. And, uh, and if that's not you, that's great. That means you're, you're a high, high achiever and you're gonna go places, obviously. But again, the number one reason why people are not making as much money as, as they want to, uh, I mean, the, the number one reason why people are not making money in solar, period, is because they don't want to, all right? So again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to the channel or to the podcast if you listen to this on audio. All right, so I'm out. I'll see you again on the next video. Take care.